let's jump into this massive update and first of all we would like to thank 50 plus beta users those who have given a lots of feedback to improve this version 2 so let's just dive into this version 2 of ui cami We are assuming you have already logged into your UIKME Figma plugin. So let's jump into. Once you will log in with your activation code, you will see the screen like this. Now here in this screen, you will see a new options. From the top option, let me show you. From top option of select pages, now you will have option to select multiple pages. For example, here you can select 2, 3, 4, 5 that depends on your requirement so you can import all those pages together so for this example let's jump into this part and here let's select two pages let's confirm now you can see the two pages over here then you have two options optimize and convert or express convert in optimize and convert you will see the option of optimization companion this is a tool which we have built for your easy Figma optimization process. Right now you might have some difficulties to optimize your Figma file but with this tool it will be very easy for you. So let's dive into. When you click there will be four options. One will be a media optimization. Second will be frame optimization. Third will be text optimization and then main frame optimization. Right. So there will be four total different categories into which we have divided this uh, optimization phase. So now in a media optimization, once we will click on this thing AI, there is two frames, right? You can see it over here. For this demo purpose, we will start with this uh, thing AI one. So here you will see our tool already have figured it out. How many multi-layer media files available in this frame in Elementor? If you are having multiple layers of vector file, it will convert each vector file as one image. So in that case, what you need to do is you just need to press a lock on those multi layer images. Now with this tool, you can see the layer and what you need to do is you can uh, manually click on lock either you can put this fix button. So once you click on this uh, fix button, you will see that that will be locked. So same goes to all the options. You can see it over here. There will be a multiple things. Let's fix them. You just need to make sure each and every part is checked by you. So nothing goes wrong in this process. Now the second option was lock parent container of mask element, but there wasn't any mistakes in that uh, phase. So it automatically uh, gone and it uh, considered as a done. Then there is a third option in which you can see the how many assets in each frame of your design. Also, we have heat map option using that you can see the how many images have been used and in which area those images are used. With this, you will be easily find uh, lots of multi-layer images. If you have forgotten to lock those multi-layer images, you will see a dark red over here that gives you idea. There are lots of images out there and you might need to lock that. So that's in optimize quantity of images and SVGs. Then let's click mark as done. Then there will be more processes, frame optimization. Then there will be, if you are having instances, uh, our system will ask detach those instances. Then there is a remove unnecessary groups and frame. So here you can click over here and see. There are lots of frames which are unused. In this case, what will happen if you are uh, converting that into Elementor? As per our algorithm, we are considering each frame as a container widget in Elementor. So all your unused groups and frames will be converted into a frame which will be uh, empty frames. So that doesn't make sense and it will make your Elementor editing experience more heavy. With this tool, you can easily figure it out and once you click on fix, it will remove all the unnecessary groups and frames. Now let's go to the next option. There you will have option to convert groups to frames. Again, you can check it out where there are groups and once you click on this fix, it will convert that into frame. So let's do that. If you doesn't want to do one by one, you also can use our fix all option as well. 
बट वेन यू आर स्टार्टिंग एंड वेन यू आर यूजिंग एज अ बिगिनर वी वुड सजेस्ट यू टू स्टार्ट विथ इंडिविजुअल वंस यू विल गेट कॉन्फिडेंट अबाउट लाइक हाउ दिस टूल वर्क हाउ यू हैव मेड द डिजाइन देन यू कैन स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन फिक्स ऑल ऑप्शन सो हियर देर इज वन ऑप्शन एनेबल क्लिप कंटेंट ऑन ओवर फ्लोइंग फ्रेम्स सो लेट्स चेक वेर इज द ओवर फ्लोइंग फ्रेम्स ओके सो हियर इन दिस केस दिस टेक्स कंटेंट इज गोइंग आउट साइड ऑफ योर फ्रेम सो इन दिस केस वी हैव टू लॉक दैट एंड इट डजेंट गेट एक्सपोर्टेड सो लेट्स फिक्स ऑन दैट पार्ट सो इट विल बी क्लिप्ड हियर अगेन इट विल बी द क्लिप देन देर आर मल्टीपल ऑटो ले आउट इशूज नाउ वी हैव डिवाइडेड ऑटो ले आउट इशूज इन टू टू टाइप्स ऑफ ऑटो ले आउट वन वी कैन फिक्स एंड यू कैन सी वी हैव गिवन यू फिक्स एज वेल फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस लोगो देन वी कैन फिक्स दैट देन देर विल बी अ बटन लाइक दिस इज द टेक्सट ऑफ होम हियर अगेन यू कैन फिक्स एंड सो ऑन सो दिस कैन बी इजिली फिक्स एंड इट विल बी ऑटोमेटिकली कन्वर्टेड इन टू ऑटो ले आउट सो लेट्स फिक्स ऑल बट हियर इन नेक्स्ट फेज यू विल सी फ्यू फ्रेम्स विच कैन नॉट बी automatically applied as a auto layout in this case we are asking you to check out and you have to use your uh, layout and you have to plan your structure and based on that you need to manually do the auto layout thing and if you want to ignore that part again you can ignore that as well if you have done that with uh, your intention or just due to the demand of your design or architecture so let's ignore here we can fix manually as well so in this case let's ignore that now there will be a check for the text optimization then it will check for main frame optimization you can see the multiple things are getting checked and now here again they are asking to apply auto layout to the main frame so let's do that now that's the main part like that whole design is optimized for the design structure now let's save and go back then there will be option for a widget tag this this is already option in tab like version 1 so you must have used that that is the again option just with the new ui and we have tried to make it more user friendly then there is a third option which is responsive manager again this is also been part of version 1 but we came across with the new ui like we have added the calculator just to make sure your uh, process is very easy to use so and we have given all the options over here now let's check our conversion settings again here we have kept all the settings just with the new ui so you must be aware with all those options let's go back and let's do the convert here your design is converted now there will be a two options first you can download that converted export file into the json format or you can do a live import so in json file what you can do is here you can download individual json if you want or if you want to download that as a multiple then you just need to click over here so that will be exported in a zip format so let's go back to live import phase here we have lots of new updates like you just need to install a latest wordpress plugin for this uh, once you will install that you will see add site option and here you can add multiple sites as well so let's delete this and let's add a new site for that let's check our setup here we already have installed our ui kemi wordpress plugin and from that you just need to get your security token so i am copying that and i am pasting that over here and let's press on connect and once it will be connected you will see green dot over here that means it's connected and from this version you can add multiple sites as well so in future if you want to add more sites and if you directly want to import to another site you can do with this method so let's go with this one and here there are multiple options now you are having to export that on a wordpress website as a new page or you can choose to go with existing in existing we have two options one you can replace your whole page or you can add that as a add on so in add on option if you want to add this exported design in your existing page bottom part you can do using this option so now let's go and select that as a new then you will have option of page you will have option for elementor templates then you will have multiple options like you can select a standard template or if you are having elementor pro then there will be a option to select as header footer and multiple options will be available 
On top of that, we are also allowing you to do export on Nextstep Theme Builder. In Nextstep Theme Builder, we are having option for template, header, footer, and every other options available in their Theme Builder. Now, for this example, let's select a page. Using this setting, you can set up the same settings from your first one to all other options. So let's click on that. So same setting will be applied on this second export file as well. Now let's let's press on next and here you can upload one by one or you can press on this import all and it will import everyone by default. So let's wait that to import and during this time it will import the page images and everything on your setup. So here you can see your theme KI page is already imported. Now let's press on this. Here you will see this is the exported page. And let's edit that with the Elementor. Everything is editable in Elementor. So for example, you can easily change this text after the import. You can change this button and everything. And here again, you can use our tagging method to tag this as a button and other options as well. Here you can see the whole image is exported as a one just to improve your performance and everything. Even if you want that as a single images, you can do that as well. Let's check other options here. You can see few things you might need to manage from when you are start editing in Elementor. For example, in this case, let's remove this part just because uh, it will give more space to that section. So once you will remove it, it will be auto adjusted based on the width of your website size and so on. And rest of the things you can easily manage and everything is managed with the responsive settings as well. For example, if you go to the style and if you click on typography and here, let's change that to tablet. You can see everything is exported and everything is managed in responsive devices as well. But if you want to do some more options or if you want to customize a bit, you can adjust the width and so on. So the rest of the part you might need to adjust from your settings and so on. So you can adjust the width, you can adjust the padding and so on. So all these things are in our version 2. Let's jump back to the Figma part and you can see every option is available. Then we also have uh, revamped our setting panel. We have included more templates in our template area from here. You can click, you can jump into our template library. There we have connected with lots more template libraries and all listed over here. So you can just have a look and thank you so much for watching and we are waiting for your feedback with this version too and your feedback is very crucial for us to build this product further and we are keen to improve your productivity further. So thanks for using UI Kemi and looking forward to your comments and subscribe to this channel because we are having lots of new videos coming for UI Kemi. Thank you so much.